Discovery, that was a good burn, no trim required. Discovery copies, thanks. And Discovery with some words on your ohms. Uh, the primaries look good on the left. Um, for the post burn gimbal check when you get there, do not do uh, the check on the secondaries on the left. You can only do primary on the left and both primary and secondary on the right. Okay, Jerry, we'll copy all. Thank you. The uh, completion of the orbital maneuvering system uh, burn, a good uh, burn of 2 minutes and 44 seconds uh, to place a discovery at an orbit currently of 196 by 170 statute miles. Go ahead. Yeah, Terry, we're doing block 2. It's on uh, ML86 Bravo Road, Charlie and uh, inadvertently closed an, uh, a main Bravo external airlock heater struck Z123 instead of the required main alpha. Do we have a go to swap those? Thanks for the uh, heads up, and you do have a go to swap those. And discover it's done, thanks. Okay, and while I have you for post insertion, you can finish up block three now. Discovery, we copy. Uh, one quick question on the gimbal check. On the left, do you prefer to do uh, primary twice? That's far, Mark. We'll take it twice. That didn't work. That uh, discussion between Capcom uh, Terry Verts and Commander Mark Kelly on board Discovery, uh, the post. Uh, insertion uh, procedures to check uh, the orbital maneuvering system engines. The uh, crew uh, instructed not to perform a uh, check on the secondary uh, gimbal system or swiveling system of the left orbital maneuvering system engine that uh, incurred an apparent electrical, fa electrical failure during uh, Discovery's climb to orbit. This has no impact on the mission. Engineers and mission managers uh, will evaluate that uh, over the course of the next several days, the primary system is in excellent shape. Uh, there's no uh, correlation uh, between the electrical systems for the primary and secondary uh, gimbal actuators, as they are known. Uh, those uh, two electrical systems are isolated from one another to prevent any commonality of a failure that could uh, incur. So uh, with Discovery safely in orbit, now at the 43-minute uh, mark into the mission, the crew is in its post-insertion uh, checklist. About 45 minutes from now, we expect uh, the crew to begin the procedures uh, to open up the payload bay doors. Uh, Karen Nyberg and uh, Ron Guerin, who was the flight engineer for uh, today's ascent to orbit, sitting uh, directly behind Commander Mark Kelly and Pilot Ken Ham and next to Mission Specialist Karen Nyberg. Garen and Nyberg uh, will be responsible for overseeing the opening of the payload bay doors, the deployment of the radiators, and then the shutdown of the flash evaporator system that is currently providing cooling for Discovery's avionics. Here in Mission Control, uh, Flight Director Norm Knight discussing with the Guidance Navigation and Control Officer the best way to manage uh, the left orbital maneuvering system engine. Uh, there's no rush uh, to uh, come up with a uh, solution or a course of action. Uh, the primary uh, gimbling or swiveling capability of that uh, orbital maneuvering system engine is uh, just fine. There is no impact uh, to the mission at this point. 
uh, nor is one expected. Uh, the left orbital maneuvering system engine uh, has a perfectly clean primary uh, gimbling electrical system. It was the secondary system, the backup system, if you will, that incurred an, elect an apparent electrical failure during Discovery's climb to orbit. The orbital maneuvering system engines uh, will be used for major uh, maneuvers uh, during the course of Discovery's 14-day uh, mission, uh, nine days of which will be uh, docked uh, to the International Space Station. The OMS engines are, of course, used in tandem uh, for the deorbit burn at the end of the mission uh, to enable uh, Discovery to uh, reduce its velocity and drop out of orbit for the hour-long descent back to the landing strip at the Kennedy Space Center. Continuing to watch uh, replays of Discovery's uh, climb to orbit uh, that occurred on time at 4.02 and 12 seconds p.m. Central Time, 5.02.12 Eastern Time. Discovery, count check on the handheld mic. Got you loud and clear, Discovery. Yeah, we got you loud and clear as well. <laughs> 